All right, guys, this is the first time you're seeing this one potentially. This is 263 Blanton Road. This is in the heart of Chastain Park. It's pretty loud here today because we got a lot going on. Say goodbye to the old house. There's an old house here. It was really nasty. We bought it. We're finally tearing it down. We should have our building permit pretty soon. But literally, Chastain is right there. So this is going to be our highest end home that we've ever built. Um, this is actually an image of what it's going to look like. You can see here on the front, it's got this crazy cool glass feature. It's going to have this sheer curtain wall. Um, and then on the back, we've got this crazy floating pool situation that's on the main level. It's going to be sick because this lot kind of slopes a little bit down. So we kind of engineered so you can have a walkout pool right off the main level because that's what everybody wants. And then you still have a whole big backyard. Uh, and this is what it looks like right now. So. Dude's over there in the machine tearing stuff up. He's been loading trucks for a couple days now. You can see the fireplace is still standing there. The fireplace is one of the last things that they removed because it's all masonry. So they're gonna take down the wood framing and all the sheetrock and the roof and all that. And then at the end, they'll get the masonry. So the foundation, the block and everything like that, the brick, whatever's left. And they'll load that in trucks and haul it off. So we're a little bit closer here now. You can see this is obviously the basement. And they basically just take the machine there, the big claw, and they just collapse everything down inside of the basement. All the wood and the roof and all that mess. All the kind of landfill material. And they smash it all down into a big pile. And then he takes the big machine and he loads it into these dumpsters. And the guy with the, the dumpster truck comes in and he just keeps hauling cans back and forth. And they just, it's called a live load. They just keep loading crap in there. And after he gets all this debris out of here, they'll break the foundation and the brick down and they'll load that into dump trucks. And then they'll haul that to a dump because it's heavy and it goes to a different landfill. They actually chip all this stuff apart and they recycle it and they turn it into that. That's, that's from old concrete. That could be a mixture of stone and concrete, but they recycle it and they make it into gravel so we can use it on the job sites, makes it cheaper. And it keeps stuff from going into the landfill. So it's kind of cool. So stay tuned, this one's gonna be pretty cool. Got a lot more coming here. This is gonna be one that we pay close attention to. Stay tuned on this one because this is gonna be the sickest build we've ever done. See you guys in a bit. All right guys, we are here at Project Monstrosity. This is the Merlindale Project. This is the one that I told you about before that we bought from a bank that foreclosed on it from another builder. He built that. Here is the rendering of what we're gonna build. This is what it's going to look like after we're done. It's going to be a modern. So cutting back to real life here. So if you compare the two in the rendering, you can see that this is a lot lower. We're going to take this whole section off of the second story and we're going to modify. Obviously, we're going to flatten the whole roof. So the whole roof is coming off. This whole section on the second story is coming off. And there's a whole section on the back that's coming off as well. So this house is gonna drastically change in shape. It's gonna get smaller, which is good because right now the house is way too big. So we're just gonna walk through today. We gotta take a couple measurements from some steel work, check on a couple things, but we're supposed to be permit ready, I hope this week. Let's see if the city comes through, but the big hurdle is over with and we should be able to start hopefully in a couple weeks. So the next time you see it, we're gonna be taking this sucker apart. So let's go inside. So eventually this will be the front door. We'll obviously have some steps and whatever here. So you walk in here and this whole situation is coming out. This is all gonna be two story. This is gonna be closed in. That's gonna be a bedroom and a bedroom above. And then this is all gonna open. All these walls are gonna disappear. You're gonna have a floating staircase here. This is gonna go away and this is all gonna open up to the two story and then open out to the back patio. So we've got a lot of changes to do in here. It's gonna be super cool to tear into this thing. I'm really excited to see how it transforms.
All right, so I was just checking out a couple things. I've got this wall right here, and actually I'll walk you guys around to this other side. You know, we're completely changing the way that this house is framed. Well, not completely, a good bit. This is wide open, second story, right? So we're actually gonna close this in, and we're gonna make this a room and above us a room. And that area over there, we're gonna open up. So right now we have this huge quad LVL up here, 24 inches there, that's as big as you can get. But the engineers are still thinking that maybe that's not enough uh, for the changes that we want. It was enough for the way it's built now, but the way we want to do it, there's more roof load coming down on this particular wall where you can see up there, there's really just a point there from that LVL and that's bearing on this big boy up here. So all that's going to change. So the way that we're going to engineer the roof is a little bit different. So they wanted me to put a steel beam in here. So I'm trying to figure out how to avoid that because of cost and complexity. So they actually, we added back in a wall here. This isn't supposed to be here. They added back in a wall because they must have changed their plan at some point. So this beam was supposed to clear span, but now we have a wall, but the problem is there's not a wall below. You need to carry it all the way to the ground. So I think what I'm gonna come up with is one of two things. I'm gonna attempt to either do another big wood beam underneath to save cost and ease of installation. Wood is obviously easier than steel and cheaper. So I'm gonna see if I can do another big beam pack underneath here to beef it up and just deal with that deflection. You know, you have the whole deflection thing with long spans, that's the issue really. It's not strength, it's deflection. Um, and if wood won't do it, then I'll just pop a steel beam underneath. That way I can just leave all this alone. We don't have to take it all apart and spend all that labor ripping it apart. Pop a steel beam underneath, it's wide open, two posts, done. So we were just checking on that. We're gonna go to the next job, but stay tuned. This one's gonna be a lot of fun to start tearing into. All right guys, so this is a job that you really haven't seen a lot of. And the reason for that is this is a customer job. I'm not gonna divulge the address, but this is a really cool house that we're doing here in Atlanta in the Buckhead, Sandy Springs area. Um, this is a modern home that we're building for a client. You may have seen a little tidbit about this back in the beginning with framing. Um, but right now we're on the home stretch. They're finishing up the stone on the front of the house. Stucco is basically completed. We're doing trim and doors on the inside. Cabinets are gonna be going in pretty soon. Um, so we'll do a quick walkthrough and show you what this one looks like. All right, so we'll go do a quick walkthrough of this house. On the outside, you can see we're doing the white stucco all around the whole perimeter of the house. We hit it with this stone. We thought that was a really nice touch for upgrade. That little part up there where it looks like ugly paper, that's gonna get wood, uh, Nichiha, a manufactured product that we've been using a lot that doesn't require any staining or maintenance and it looks just like wood. It's kind of like hardy plank siding. So it's gonna look really cool when it's all done. So let's go inside and see what we got. So we got a three car garage. You walk in right here. This is gonna be a mud room and a laundry all in one. So it'll be a bunch of cabinetry in here. You can see the guys are actively working on the trim. This is the kitchen wall right here. So the whole kitchen will go right here, big island right here. And then we have this huge pantry in here that's gonna be kind of like a kitchen behind the kitchen. So you'll have in here cabinets that flank all the way around, a sink and a dishwasher right here in the middle. So this will be really cool. This is the master on main. So this is a generous sized master. It's got a door out to the back so you can get to the pool. Big closet, big bathroom, really nice. Could be the main master, could be the second master. This is all the living room right here. Obviously we've got this whole living space right here and kind of right here, we're gonna do a dining arrangement if they want to. I don't know if they're gonna do a table or not. But then all back there, you've got the pool walking straight out. So we'll get to that in a minute. Right here you have the powder room. And then this is the two-story kind of atrium right here. This is the front door, couldn't go through it because the guys are still working up there. But this is gonna be really sick. These are the final staircases. We're gonna have glass handrails on all of this. So this is gonna be really cool when you walk in. Up here, we've got this really cool foyer. You can put a piece of art right here, a nice piece of furniture. And then we've got a spare bed and bath here, two more over here, and then another master. This is the master suite right here that we're walking into. Bathroom is here. We've got a big, beautiful bedroom here. Lots of room for a sitting area. We added some windows down below. So from any vantage point, you can kind of look straight down into the pool. And if you look out the window, you can actually kind of see that situation. It's still under construction right now, but you kind of get the point. 
Back here in this little nook right here, this is kind of another little sitting spot. We're gonna have this really cool wet bar right here. Maybe a TV above. This could be like a little chill nook right here. Big master closet over there, but the bathroom is gonna be cool. Check this out. So walking into this bathroom, you're gonna have the freestanding tub over here. You're gonna have a six foot vanity over here and you'll notice this wall is open. It's not big enough for a doorway or a walking path. We're gonna put a sheet of glass right here and that's mirrored over here. So this is the actual shower. This is a vanity wall right here. There'll be glass right here so you can see right into the shower. But the vanity is actually gonna start from the edge right here and it's gonna come out almost all the way to that corner right there or maybe right there matching it. So the vanity is gonna come over and the stone from the vanity top is gonna waterfall on all these sides and be integrated into the shower and the glass for the shower will sit straight on it and then you'll have the door right here. So it's got this big cool shower that kind of ties back into the room and the vanity does this kind of floating illusion and you've got two showers inside of this shower and then another closet back there. So he's got two big closets, this really cool bathroom, all in this kind of funky little way to have a play on shapes and spaces. All right guys, that's it for today. We're gonna give you more updates coming soon on all the rest of the projects. 2126 Moran, this house is actually already sold. This is one that we're working on over in Oak Grove. Um, we're gonna give you an update on that one next, on the next video. But stay tuned, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell, hit the like button, do all the things. We'll keep making videos for you guys and let me know in the comments if there's any certain things you guys wanna see on these videos or topics you want me to talk about. We'll see you on the next one.